So that doesn't mean for you to be disrespectful to the Asian community and back talking and trash and all that. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Excuse my language, but that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I just really wanted to come on here quickly and talk about the coronavirus that's happening. I just want to talk about the way how people has been acting towards others and being very reactive instead of proactive. Let's get into the video. Okay, so coronavirus. Sounds scary. It's a virus. You know, it's not bacterial. It's not easy for our body to just poom poom pow, get out. So it's literally an alien. Though the coronavirus been around for quite a long time and it is part of the SARS family maybe I could find the, the the table but I will put it up it's been I just wanted to explain how to prevent it and also say that all this buying like toilet papers and all that stuff is really unnecessary this virus could literally be combated if we have the proper hygiene Proper hygiene will kill the virus. So less touching of the face, which is hard because we love our face. We always touch it. Hence why some people break out more than certain people. Clean areas that we touch. Example, our phone. We touch our phone all the time. I literally touch my phone. <laughs> um, I play games, so I clean my controller, mirror, all that stuff, but like I don't go out as often, so for those who do drive, clean your steering wheel, your, what is it called again, the one that go back and forth, something stick, yeah, that one, <laughs> clean, just, you know, disinfect, clean all that, you know. It's hard to get um, certain supplies now because everyone is literally panicking, shopping, and buying more than they actually need. So I did find a video on um, TikTok to make your own hand sanitizer or just pour it. Yeah, it's a hand sanitizer, but you can use it to clean. So I will also leave a link for that video down below in the, in the description. So the two terms that I brought up was reactive and proactive. So reactive is like, say that a child got sick in school, that's when they will close down the schools. They are reacting to that situation, therefore that's why they close the school. While being proactive, you're preventing that even happening or that even being a case. So therefore, you close down all the schools, you close down workplaces, you cancel events and all that stuff, which we have been seeing on social media like on Twitter and Instagram, and that's how you prevent other people from getting getting the virus, which is a great move. Good job! People are actually thinking! <laughs> but now everybody has to like fit their schedule in or change their whole entire schedule for to be home and be safe and i honestly think that the way how everyone is acting reacting to this is in the worst way ever because for those who really needs the supplies that doesn't have any at all it's hard for them to actually go and get it because everyone else was over shopping their on their shopping list that you don't need all these toilet paper that's another thing in my mind i'm like thinking like what is the why is why you need so much toilet paper i don't understand the i just explain i just explained the reason what was the reason i understand hand sanitizer disinfecting wipes and all that stuff you know what i mean like those stuff are necessary right now but you don't need to do so much for others to not get all trying to survive we're all trying to prevent it to come to into our bodies that doesn't mean for you to buy everything that others are unable to get it which doesn't make any sense we all need to work together 
together, come together, and come back this virus together. I recently saw a post on Instagram saying that in Saskatchewan here in Canada, they, the scientists, they are working on a vaccine for the virus, which is woohoo, yes, amazing. But like still, we all need to get together. This is unnecessary. We don't need all of this drama. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Calm down. So the coronavirus originated in China and Wuhan. Yes! Chinese people, they were unfortunate to get the virus and it was able to kill a lot of people. Now, they're doing so much better. They realized how to prevent, so therefore, they took extra steps on disinfecting the whole streets. I saw that video, I was amazed. And now even people are going back in to work. Not everybody, but like, people are going back into the offices to start working. They have been more people to, that been recovered, which is really great. Unfortunately, for those who has died, God bless your soul. It was unfortunate. It was devastating. You know, like no, everyone does not deserve to die. Not everybody. Even for those who has done wrong, everyone has the right to live. So that doesn't mean for you to be disrespectful to the Asian community and back talking and trash and all that that doesn't make any goddamn sense excuse my language but that doesn't make any goddamn sense for y'all to be not everybody but for those who would click on my video and be saying bad things even the children's in school how dare you they didn't ask for it nobody didn't like that doesn't make any sense to me that doesn't make any sense to me how you be making racist slurs it's just like did the virus like did they did they choose no the virus could go anybody it has no limit it has no concern it's like as long as i find a human um human host i will destroy your cells and mm, make more of me that's the virus that's the virus that doesn't mean for you to be going and making um, racist slurs towards the Asian community because watch let's flip the scenario would you be making those racist slurs to white people no you will do your best and send your concern that's what they need right now and everyone else right now because it's not there anymore it's everywhere they need our help Thank God for those who have survived, showed us that there is hope, okay? As long as you have hope, everything is possible. As long as you believe, everything is possible. And so, the way how I see in my eyes, there is no race. There is only one, which is called human race okay people human race that's the only thing i see so if i see another human being disrespectful to another human because of the society that they think and believe in i'm gonna step in and say no 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 uh 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 honey yes we have different skin tones but that doesn't mean we'd be disrespectful because for all i know we all are the same in the inside so you being racist towards them a lot of our things come from their home country and yet we'd be so disrespectful towards them it's just like if i were the one in their shoes and i got these type of hurtful words yes i will cuss them out i will cuss them out and i will fight <laughs> but like like seriously I'll be hurt honestly even though I cuss out their mama clat and then it will also turn me as one of them and that's not what I want we all need to work together we all need to combat this virus we all need to be one so please stop 
stop stop this nonsense i'm gonna be the mother now stop this nonsense this is foolishness we all need to work together we all need to stay safe wash your mother mother hands <laughs> if you're sick get one of these I, I mean this mask I use for my nails I don't want to make this video long so let me just wrap it up anyways the point is stay clean hygiene don't let me don't let me tell you to go and clean yourselves okay I shouldn't be the one telling you to clean yourself toilet paper I don't know why you need so much toilet paper for an eternity y'all don't even live for an eternity y'all share your toilet paper okay this is gonna be ending soon cut the racist thing cut it cut it cut it period okay cut it out i anyways i hope you enjoyed this video please like and comment down below every all my social media will be down below i will also link the video of a homemade hand sanitizer for those who weren't unable to get it because people were being really greedy and you know what i mean i'll link it down below me got you. Anyways, I hope you subscribe. Bye.